Uh, Carolina Rebellion 2018, we've got the fever here. And actually, by the way, guys, Rebellion, Friday, I was sick. And then, so I told Darren, I was like, it must be because I'm so excited for the fever. I must have caught it. I caught the fever. So um, <laughs> I want to talk about the new EP because I'm obsessed with it. Like, how long did you guys kind of keep this project a secret from everybody? Um, we were, um, should I grab it? Okay. <laughs> um, the fever started a few months before we performed our first demonstration, which was in Inglewood, California at Randy's Donuts. So I would say like it was about four months of sort of gestation. Yeah. And then following that, we were just creating, writing music and tunes and, and really sort of, uh, guess I mean, making the, the mission and the objective as, as poignant as possible in that time before we released the uh, EP. And then once we released the EP, it was just, we felt it was time, which is anything we release, anything we do, is we're trying to be impactful. We're trying to make sure that it has a, a point to it. Um, were you going to say something, Eric, about it? No, well, it was just weird because we had that uh, that reminder that it had been a year right before this tour started. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, right. It was like, what, four months before? Yeah, about four Fourth of July. Four months before the 4th of July, yeah. So you're hitting your one-year anniversary right about now? Actually, Technically. Come, I mean, we, we, we consider July 4th our one year because that's when we announced who we are and played our, you know, did our first demonstration. So I'd say, yeah, it's getting there. I mean, for Yeah, yeah, honestly, it's unbelievable. We were in D.C. last night, right? And, 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 and we were speaking to the crowd, and we were just reflecting. Literally, we turned around to each other, and we were reflecting about how incredible this experience was and how different it was and how quickly people have invested and so genuinely. Usually, that kind of stuff, you, you're a little reluctant to, you know, you think, well, it might be too quick, and the rise and fall might be fast, but it's like genuine investment, real investment in, in what this is and I think because what we try to promote is something bigger like a collective effort rather than just you know three guys or you know five guys writing music you know it's uh, we're trying to create a bigger space for everybody so perhaps maybe that's what it is or perhaps people are just can I curse on this thing yeah. fucking awesome like may or you know either whatever it is we're very grateful for it with, with everything you guys are trying to accomplish and that the platform you guys put yourself on and realize that you have to promote good and the three C's that you guys promote I love where did it all this I know this just didn't start with the band, but I know that the sense of community and doing well for the world had to be installed at a young age, correct? Yeah, I think all of us, all three of us have a very, we've got, I'd say disparate experiences. You know, Steven's from, like, from the South. Eric and I are from like a relatively um, similar proximity or like close proximity, but our, our um, demographics are very different. So between the three of us, I think once we come together and we discuss how we've experienced the world, that really does inform this project and also just opening our fucking eyes really like it's really just a matter and this isn't opinion or biases these are facts like these are facts and you really can't argue with facts and all we're doing is accepting them uh we're, we're acknowledging them and what we're trying to do is open a space for everyone to have the discussion whoever you are wherever you fall on the board we are trying to open that space to have the discussion to further it but i would say really it just came from our life experiences I mean do you guys I agree I mean even in my old band um, we had our uh, our beliefs but uh, we weren't very um, straight out and vocal about it and uh, that was about five years ago and I think since then um, from then till now I've really gotten to um, figure out where I stand on a lot of issues and uh, like what I believe uh, like, but political, politically, and um, our, all sorts of other things. But um, this band kind of happened at the perfect time. It, it allowed me to sort of like take those things that I've learned about myself and that I've uh, accepted and push it into this, which is uh, it aligns a lot with what the other guys it's believe as well. Totally, totally. It's like you know, I feel like I know now, sort of like kind of how to talk to people like when we were in dc last night we had a really sick talk um about gun control after the show just about 10 people and i'd, I'd never i've been playing shows a long time and i'd never had that kind of thing happen uh in the show setting it was cool yeah 
Uh, I also just think in general, um, it's really easy to have your own personal experience where you grew up and have a hard time seeing outside of that. And I think for all of us, we had different experiences and we went out into the world and we saw the, the, the difference between the different cities that we went to. And I think with this, it's, it's again, like what Jason was saying, trying to find a safe space for people where they grew up in a spot that doesn't align with what they believe and they don't really have anyone around them to turn to or if they do it's a pretty small number and I think it's it's been easier for us to kind of realize how rare it is to actually have a giant group around you that agrees with what you're saying especially when you're when you're younger right now in the United States um, and so it's been fun to kind of on a very small scale right now because it's building get to bring some of those people together and uh, and play play some shows well congratulations on the EP I'm digging it I love it now since the EP just came out are we gonna work on a full LP soon yeah yeah we um we're actually we have a lot of music already what <laughs> what what happens typically is we get in and we write and when we write um, we we uh, we we write as a collective, so we have um, our friends Travis Barker and John Feldman involved in this as well. And when we get in the studio, we usually, if not always, come out with something. So basically, we have it all lined up. And what we will do is we'll gonna, we're going to gauge the climate. We're going to see how you know we we fit into all of these uh, pieces of this puzzle, whether it be politically, artistically, socially. And when it feels most impactful and most effective, we will be releasing an LP to, to make sure that we we don't just ride on, on hype, but we try to really walk the walk every step we take. That's amazing. You guys are hitting the stage at 520. I plan on heading on down there around 4 o'clock and camping my spot out. I've been waiting for this all weekend. So definitely excited. Their EP is out. Make sure you check it out. Made in America. Thanks, guys.